Hi there. Um, in this video, we're going to see if we can actually uh, do some, uh, some conversions um, and learn how to do uh, conversions from one unit to another. Uh, this is useful because often uh, units uh, might be get, things, measurements might be given to us in the wrong units. Uh, so we might uh, be given, um, let's say, uh, something in meters, where actually what we want to do is calculate things in millimeters or, um, or vice versa. Or maybe um, if you're, for instance, uh, if you were uh, raised in the United States, you might not have a very good idea about what, how big a meter is or how big a kilogram is. You might want to convert from a meter or a kilogram to, to let's say, a unit you know, let's say maybe a pound or a, um, uh, you know, or a, a foot, things like this. Um, so what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about how we actually go about doing those conversions. So why don't we come along? All right, so uh, let's just uh, start with kind of a simple one. Um, let's just say uh, we, um, we, uh, that, the, um, that bar that I was uh, sitting uh, in front of before, uh, let's say that um, the bar has a length equal to, um, let's say, uh, um, 2.3 meters. Okay, and maybe again, like maybe you were raised in the United States and you don't actually have a good, very good feel for what 2.3 meters actually is. Um, so you might want to actually convert this to a unit that you uh, that you know better. Well, we can look up a couple of different units. Um, the one I have here is that um, we can look up that uh, that are a um, uh, one meter is actually equal to about one point zero nine four yards and let's just call that let's just call that one point um, we'll just call that go ahead and call that 1.1 1 .1 yard uh, because I think that'll be close enough all right okay because we're only given the length in two digits anyway all right so we know that one meter is 1.1 1 .1 yard uh, let's say we want to actually know it in feet though uh, we also um, those of you who have uh, um, been raised in yard feet and things like this probably know a one yard is equal to three feet. All right. So to do this conversion, um, we basically are trying to just multiply by one. So basically we're going to keep multiplying by numbers that are equal to each other. Um, and I like to use a, a method that I that I, I was always taught was called like the, the fence technique or the, the ladder technique. Uh, basically it goes like this. So we have our 2.3 meters right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kind of have a line that separates the top from the bottom, okay? And then I'm gonna put a little slash here. And what I'm gonna do is the thing to the right here now has to be a equal to one. So for instance, um, if I put one meter here and 1.1 yard here, all right, um, that's equal to one because one meter over 1.1 yard is will cancel each other out because they are equal to each other, okay? Um, and notice, I put this in a specific way where you notice that this meter and that meter actually are, um, are on opposite sides of the actual, um, of, of the, uh, the, the, um, the fraction. Um, that's so that they can actually cancel out, right? Because a meter divided by a meter is just nothing, right? Um, and so uh, what we will see is, is great. I've canceled out my meters. Now I have converted that to a yard. Um, let's keep going though. Let's do it to feet again. We, uh, we want to actually convert to feet. So let's just say, oh look, one yard is equal to three feet. All right, how does that look? Well, it, it, it doesn't look that good, right? Um, uh, if you actually look at this, uh, the feet can't cancel with a yard. And this yard, both of these yards are on, are on the top part. So that wasn't very good. All right, let's try it again. Let's put the yard on the bottom. And let's put the feet on the top. Now that's nice. Our yards will cancel out, just like our meters cancel out. And now all we're going to be left with is feet. So now to actually get this, it's uh, we just need to multiply the top and the bottom through. So we're going to get 2.3 times 1.1. Let's just do it this time. Times 1.1 times 3 feet divided by one times one. Okay, so that's obviously that's a pretty easy one. Um, let's just get out our handy calculators um, and we will, uh, I, I use my phone for most of these. Um, so if I get the, um, if I get my calculator out, here, there we go. Um, 
and I do 2.3 times 1.1 times 3, I will get 7.6 feet. All right, so we know now that 2.3 yards, 3.3 uh, meters is equal to 7.6 feet. Okay, um, so that's pretty nice. Um, let's do one more. Uh, one that I actually like to uh, go over really early with students uh, is actually um, uh, meters per second to miles per hour. So let's say we're going at a, sp a speed, and we'll talk later about how speeds work. Let's say we're going at a speed of 30 meters per second, okay? Um, I don't know about you, but uh, I don't actually know 30 meters per second, although we saw up here um, that a meter is about equal to a yard. So this is a little faster than 30 yards a second. That might be useful because um, uh, if any of you have watched um, uh, football or have watched uh, soccer, um, you know that uh, the fo a football field is, uh, is 100 yards, a soccer field is 100 meters. Um, so this is a little bit more than three, uh, a little bit less than a third of a football field um, in per second. So that gives you some idea in those types of ideas. But let's let's um, let's actually drill down a little bit more in this. Um, so let's actually think about how it is, what it is in miles per hour. Well, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to figure out what um, what a meter is in miles because I don't actually know that. So um, one mile in meters is 1,609. So we know that one mile is equal to 1,609 meters. All right. Um, by the way, um, notice I put an MI for the mile. Meters is normally just an M. Um, and so try not to confuse yourself. Miles should always have an I after it. M is going to always refer to meters. All right. So let's go ahead and try to do this conversion. Again, we got 30 meters per second. Now look, I'm going to put this second down here because whenever we have a per second, a divided by second, that means that's 30 meters divided by one second or 30 meters for every one second, okay? That is a division. We just often abbreviate it just by using this slash uh, that, that, that we see, um, you know, that we, that we see uh, right around here. Um, but, but that is actually a division, all right? Um, so what can we do about that? Well, let's look. Uh, first, let's deal with our meters, all right? There's 1,609 meters. And again, remember, we're trying to figure out how many um, miles per hour. Um, again, miles per hour is just a funny way of saying miles divided by hour, so miles per hour, okay? Um, just like we're saying meters per second. All right, so we got 30 meters per second. We're gonna cancel out our meters by simply taking 1609 meters and one mile. So look, the meters are canceled out. We're now going to get miles on the top exactly where we want it, yes? All right, now we need to get rid of the seconds because we want hours here. Well, uh, we know that there are 60 seconds, hopefully, uh, in a minute. Again, notice I have to do MIN now because I've got MI for a mile. I've got M for meters. Now I need MIN for a minute. Okay. Uh, sorry. So in, in one minute, in one minute. And then there's 60 minutes in one hour. Okay. Now if we look at it, I've got my seconds. Look, this second was on the top to cancel out what that second on the bottom. That's why I put the second on the top there. Um, I've got my minutes canceling out. And now the only units I have are miles and hour. Perfect. All right. So now all that's left to do is to do some conversion. Um, so again, if we get out our calculators, we're going to find that we might take 30 times 60 times 60 divided by 1609. All right. Um, divided by one, divided by one, okay. Um, it's going to give us 67 miles per hour, all right? Um, uh, so, 67 miles per hour, 30 meters per second. If you notice something, that's just a little bit more than twice. Um, so I always tell people that a good rule of thumb is that um, if you want to convert from meters to second to miles per hour, it's a little bit more than, than twice as much. Um, so again, 30 meters per second is almost 70 miles an hour. 
Uh, um, so pretty, pretty fast, right? Um, uh, about highway traveling speed uh, in a car. Um, if you drive in a place where you do it in kilometers per hour, you can do that conversion on your own. Uh, I don't. Okay, I hope that was useful. Um, uh, please uh, ask any questions in class. Uh, make any comments down below, and I'll see if I can help you out. Um, and other than that, uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day.